you are not allowing yourself to see your true relationship with your parents. Many of you build up being good parents, they were pretty easy to get along with. And, you know, we had our ups and downs occasionally, but it wasn't that bad, everything was fine, and I really had a good relationship with them in the end. But to be frank with you, that is covering over lots of different emotion. Right? Myself you, and Brian were having a conversation last night, and Brian mentioned that he, down his leg he has this huge rash. Right? on his left leg down the side here. And I was saying, that has to do with unresolved rage with your mother. And Brian's next comment was, but I had a fantastic relationship with my mother. In fact, it's my father that I had all the trouble with. Right? But the actual physical body is saying quite different. So often what's happening is we are boy dealing with the core in, in injuries with our parents. Now, our school teachers happen when our, we're usually four or five years of age onwards, right, here in Australia. Now, obviously our law of attraction is already quite established from our parents by that stage. So even if we attract teacher after teacher that's female, there is an attraction going on that's based around our parents' attractions. So, so while those people can certainly damage you, and certainly between the ages of zero to seven, most of the damage does occur and until we start sorting out that that was their problem rather than ours so we start getting a mind of our own if you like and start sorting out who's got the problem before that time oftentimes we internalize all of our issues and problems or externalize them greatly but that is totally dependent upon <coughs> our parents and what's going on with our parents so the reason why I'm bringing up the issue of parents over and over again and in fact last weekend we had that weekend about parenting. And for those who came, there wasn't that many who came, interestingly enough, uh, to that. There was about 50, I think, who came to that in Brisbane. And every single one who came realised how much of an impact this parent thing go is having on us as children in very insidious ways. So often we haven't received lots of verbal, emotional, physical abuse that we can recognise. But the reason why we can't recognise it is because it's so fine that we hook into it and un unfortunately become so hooked into it that it's not till later in life that we realise how much through the law of attraction it's affected our life. Maybe, um, I don't know how comfortable you feel about saying that with your parents, like... It certainly, I, um, I was raised with lots of hugs and I was told that I was loved a lot and um, I would have said that I, and I still say that I had a fantastic childhood but I'm 30 now and I have a lot of stuff that comes directly from my relationship with my parents and as each week goes on I go, oh, oh, and there's that and there's that. And it doesn't, I don't feel, um, I'm just right. checking if this is true, yeah. <laughs> I don't feel in a place of judgment of my parents about it. Like, the truth is they did the best they could and they actually endeavoured to be very loving, gentle parents. But they weren't perfect and there were things that they did that had an impact on the way I relate to men, the way I relate to women, the way I relate to myself that I need to clear away now. So I have to, in a sense, take the rose-coloured glasses off and really go back to what the little girl felt because she's the one who needs to be healed. And, um, yeah, I don't necessarily feel that... Like, I still feel that my parents did a pretty, you know average or above average job, but they, they have their own injuries that they have, that I just absorbed as a natural part of being a child. So for example, let's say you are a person who um, got a lot of approval from your parents. So you've got lots of approval, lots of acceptance and so forth from your parents, but there might have been an emotional hook in your parents which was, we're going to keep giving you this approval as long as you agree with us. So you'll grow to be 30 or 40 even perhaps before you start not agreeing with them. And then when you start not agreeing with them, you find there, what happens to the relationship now? It's starting to sour a bit, right? Now the reason why that is the case is because we've actually been so hooked into getting this approval that we've automatically done what the parent wants us to do. And as a result of doing what the parent wants us to do, they're all happy all the time because they're happy with us all the time and we feel really happy, but the instant we do choose something that, that's something way out of their left field that they can't cope with, now we've got a major problem 
now the now the hook is exposed. Now the emotional damage is exposed. So for many of you, you will find actually that you have these hooks into your relationships with your parents, that and and even sexual hooks into the relationships with your parents that are only exposed through the law of attraction later on in life. And then you start then you start to see ah it's because of that particular thing going on. So for instance, if you're a woman whose daddy's always thought of as special, now you're going to grow up feeling special as a woman, right? You're only going to be attracted to men who view you as their queen, as their princess, and all that kind of stuff. Now, any man who wants you as an equal, you're not going to be attracted to. You're going to think you are, and you're going to think that maybe even the man you're with thinks that. But once you start analysing it, as soon as he doesn't give you those special emotions, what do you do? Do you get angry? Well, if you do, obviously this isn't a loving relationship if you're getting angry. So, and it all comes from just daddy feeling you're special. And yet you might not have ever realised that until you entered a sexual relationship with somebody else. Do, do you follow me? So can you see how, like a lot of the links are to our parents are quite insidious links, not even easily determined, and they're only usually exposed through the law of attraction later in life.